This is Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and Miss Collins with me and we are going to do a patriotic craft tonight. We're just going to let a few folks hop on and we're going to get started. So we'll just give it a minute. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, Say that's, hello once that's you get Paige. on. Oh, hey, that's Paige. Paige. Hey, Paige. Here come some more people. Y'all say hello once you hop on so we'll know that you're here and can say hello. Well, let's see if they wave. What happens if you get wave, I wonder? I guess you wave at me. Hey, Frida. Hey, Deronda. And Donna. Howdy. Hey, from Deborah from Kentucky. And Charisse. Hey, Kaylee. I gotta scoop my seat up. Well, fix your seat and get fixed. <laughs> it's hard, we had to squeeze in this little bitty rectangle. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. Yes, guys, it's sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. We have to announce our winner from last night. We're gonna pick a winner tonight of um, who won the little the little thing. We had not picked yet, but we got our list of names and we're all ready to pick. See y'all sprinkle. Hey, Paige. <laughs> she said, hey guys. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Marlene. Hey, Marlene and Peggy. from Pen Peggy from Pennsylvania. Where's my... I couldn't tell where the hole was. Yeah, it's kind of inconspicuous. It is. You can't hardly see. Hey, Rosemary. From Alabama. From Alabama. Roll Tide. Speaking of Alabama, why don't you show your thing that you made today? Oh, yeah. I'm proud of it. Look, Colin, we cut this out on the Glowforge today. And uh, he painted it and all this kind of stuff. So from uh, Rosemary from Alabama, she might like this. I don't know. She might. We'll see. Hey, happy Mother's Day. I know it's backwards, guys, but um, I'm going to get an iPhone, I promise. But, yeah, this is what he cut out. And so all of it's kind of, let me hold it to the side where they can tell. It's all, the pieces are all raised off. And he painted all that. Doesn't it look cool? Did it all by myself. It looks so cool. I know it's backwards. Here you go. Shelly Griffith Michney. She's Waiting for somebody to say. She's a newbie. Hey, Shelly. Welcome. Glad you found me. I'm so glad you're here. Um, oh, look, South Haven. Danny from, yep, yeah, Danny's from South Haven. I do know that. Because Danny's been on before. Hey, Natalie. Oh, I got off the stream. Okay, y'all ready to get started? Thank you, Edie, for sprinkling. And y'all sprinkle. And we're going to announce a winner from last night for everybody that sprinkled. I got my little pineapple sign up there, guys, if you can see it. I think it looks really good up there. It's all done. Oh, I got to show you. Where's my the one from last night? I cut out, you know, happy Mother's Day to you, too. You know, the one we did last night, I cut out the, um, the letters out of my uh, Glowforge. And I put, hey, y'all. I know it's backwards. But I'll take a picture so y'all can see it. But I actually stained, just kind of paint stained them and put that on there. I know it looks funky backwards, but it's really pretty in person. So I wanted to show y'all what I did to it. Because um, I had put the hello on there just temporary so y'all could get an idea. Let's put this down so I won't break it. Uh, I get an idea of how it was going to look with words on it. And then I cut that out today and I stained it. It looks so good. And I cannot wait to hang it in my house. I was waiting to show it to you guys first. So, okay. So we're going to do a patriotic... Thing tonight um, since a lot of people are wanting to see a lot of patriotic stuff and that's what we're gonna do um, I got this idea off Pinterest so um, what I did was I went to Pinterest and I typed in maybe I typed in or no maybe I went to just Google I think and you love my wall Maxine thank you it's a bunch of stuff that I've made on lives mostly um, but anyway um, Bama girl from Florida. Hey, Nancy. Um, so anyway, so that light, turn, go over there and turn the light. See how it's turned over here? It and it's turned. like, what is it I'm doing? Sorry. You're going to have to hold the phone, though, and turn it. He's got to fix the light. I don't, we were such in a hurry trying to set up. So you got to hold the phone and then turn, just turn the light itself. Like, turn the top piece. Like, no, grab the light. I'm, I'm very confused. Just grab the light. Okay. There you go. That's better. All right. Okay. Is that good? Now turn the phone this way. Like this? Yes. Perfect. Okay, okay. Right okay, sorry guys. We had it all. We were just threw it up there and got started. We had to eat and take a shower and do all the stuff. 
Um, so anyway, so I went on. I can't remember if I printed this off Pinterest, but I will go back and find it for you uh, and link it when I show the picture if you want to do this craft. I just, I think I Googled. Look, when I hold up the paper, it makes it go dark. See how the screen goes dark and then it goes light? Because it's focusing on it. The light, yeah. Okay, so I went on and typed in uh, like Star Spangled Banner printable music or something. Hey, Patty. Hey, Donna. Thank you, Maxine. Uh, oh, there's a Bama fan in Illinois. Kathy's a Bama fan in Illinois. Okay, Roll so time. this is... This is the Star Spangled Banner. I know it's backwards, but I promise it's right in real life. And it is actually printed sideways. It's the whole song. And I was like, that song. Yes, it is. Look, free and the home of the brave. Is yes, it that short? Yeah. I, <laughs> look how short it is. I guess all them singers online are on, in person or whatever. They stretch it and out. And the rockets right there, the bombs bursting in there, air through. So like, Oh, say so does that sports? Yeah, that's the whole song. And I thought, my gosh, it looks so short. I guess they draw it out when they sing it. I'm hey, Janet. Impressed. So anyway, so I've got this printable here, and um, we're actually going to paint on on top of it. So I've got a um, just this is a nine by twelve ca uh, canvas that I already had in my stash. You could definitely use a picture frame, but we are going to make this into a picture frame. And we're going to paint this, and we're going to put it in there, but I'm going to show you how we're going to paint it. So um, we're going to deal with the frame in just a minute. First, we're going to actually start painting, and I don't have a plate, painting um, on our music. Unprepared. Unprepared. Yes, it's true. Okay. The flag back here behind my noggin, that is made out of straws. Straws. Yes. And this one's made out of little jinka blocks up here. Thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Jen. Hey, Donna and Linda. Thank you very much. Hey, Deidre. Okay, now I got my little, this is my last little Dollar Tree plate. I get the little pack of party plates, and that's what I put my paint on, and I just throw them away. So, um, so we are going to paint on, I keep, when I hold it up, it makes us go dark, and when I turn it down, it makes us go light. That's so funny. So, um, we're going to paint on top of this, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And kids can do this if you've got grandkids or you're, you know, you've got small children, nieces, nephews, whoever. This is very, very simple, guys. So, but it is, it makes a big effect, okay? So, I just got my plate and I think I'm going to start off with my red. I'm going to show you. We're going to actually paint a flag, but it's not complex, nothing major. It's just a simple, a few simple little strokes. So, don't, don't get automatically go, oh, I can't paint. I can't do this. It's very simple. Look, I've already got red paint on me already. Donna uses mayo lids to put my her, her paint in. in. Hey, that's a good way of recycling. Interesting. It that's should just come right off. What? The, the paint? paint come off know. of the mayo lids. It's a pretty good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Um, I use stuff like that too sometimes, uh, but I like these little plates. Mayo lids. Thank you, Kathy, for sprinkling. Okay, so I've got my red paint. And like I said, don't be intimidated because this is nothing, you know, Nothing hard and nothing major. So I've got it turned, you know, of course, where the top is up here. And y'all are looking at it backwards, but the bottom's down here. So I'm just going to um, dip my brush into the red paint like this. And then I'm just going to kind of get a little bit off my brush. I don't want it just soaked, okay? Because I don't want it just to soak that paper. So I got some on my brush. And then I'm going to kind of imagine this being a flag. So my blue is going to be over here. So I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to make a squiggly line just like that. That's all I did. Can you see that? And then I'm going to dip it back in the paint a little bit. And I'm going to go over it some more just to kind of get it filled in kind of how I want it. But I want it to look all rough and kind of jagged and all that stuff. I want it to look just like that. Hey, Janet. Um, so if you're just hopping on... This is a piece of sheet music that I printed off of the internet. It says, it's a Star Spangled Banner music. And I'm just painting right on top of it. But you can still see through the actual, to the words and stuff like that. So then I'm going to go and get some more paint over here. And then I'm going to do one just the same. I'm going to go down a little bit where the white would be. Skip that. And then I'm just going to kind of do the same thing. And just kind of go up and down like this. Kind of like it's waving in the wind. See, that's what I got so far. So see, this is very easy. You can let kids do this and do this with finger paint. So my, my blue that's should be mess. here. You're trying to get these people all messy. It'll be okay though. You finger painted. Finger paint's yeah. fun. 
Okay, so this. Yeah, until you get that it whole everywhere. painting right there I did with my fingers. Okay, so that. I'm just trying to imagine where my blue will be. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Angela. Um, if you're just hopping on, Star Spangled Banner, um, cheap music. I just printed it off of a Google, or I think it was Google. And I'm, I'm painting a flag on top of this, and we're going to actually make a frame and put it in a frame. So I just did two, two little wavy lines, and then since my blue is there, I'm going to, maybe I need to do one more short one. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing I just did. Nothing fancy, guys. See? It's just so you can still see the words through the paint, which is really cool. I'm not totally covering it all up. So y'all got some good stuff going on tonight besides watching us, what y'all done today. Hey, Diane. Hey, Deborah J. Hey, Miss J. And then, so then, I'm pretending that my blue is here, okay? Because I know it's backwards to y'all. I'm sorry. But, so I'm going to, like, my blue field will be here. So this time, I'm going to drop down and come over here where the edge of the flag will be and do it that way. Thank you, Donna. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Like I said, this is very easy. And little kids could do this. And it's not a whole lot to it. So don't get intimidated. You can't paint. Because you can do this, I promise. So I'm just going to go underneath that and do the same thing. But I'm going to go over it again because it looks kind of pink. Snowed some in Pennsylvania. Snowed, oh my gosh. Whew. I miss <laughs> Becky you too, Miss Deborah. Being lazy. Miss well, we, we sat around a good bit of the day, too, and chatted and talked and watched For a good TV. bit of the day. From, like, 9 a.m. to, like, at 2 two thirty is yeah. what time we sat Thank to you, be Nancy. productive today. So. That's okay. There's nowhere to go. There isn't anywhere to well, go. Well, there's some places open, but I don't have anywhere to go. Stay here with my son and have family time. Okay, so then I'm going to go under here and do it one more time. Just make a little squiggly worm or something. Just think, think of it like that. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go up here and see where I need to put a little bit more paint. So, so that's easy, y'all. I haven't intimidated you and ran you off yet, I hope. Everybody gets the paint out and the paint brushes and people start panicking. Oh, gosh, I can't paint. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. So this is what we have so far, Okay. And then I'm going to put my paint, my brush down in my water. See? Now i got Kool-Aid. <laughs> like Kool I told Colin that day we were painting something that sign. And he goes, I said, it looks like Kool-Aid. He goes, yeah, chunky Kool-Aid. <laughs> so, it looks a little thick. Hey, Sandra. Well, it is a little thick. It's got paint in the water. Okay. Yeah. So I'm putting this over here. i got to get something to drink. Sandra's watching. Showing. Snowing in Ohio. Oh, my Lord, Shelly. It is beautiful and sunny here. It was only like... 60, it's got, it got like 62 today. Maybe 62. It's a little cool outside, but it's beautiful outside. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Okay. So now we're going to do our blue. And I've already tried this once today just to make sure it was going to look. Hey, hey Sandra. And uh, hey, hey Tara. Tara. Zoe. Okay. So, I, okay, let me tell you all the colors I use too. You probably want to know. But if any red or blue, whatever suits your fancy. This is called True Red, just by Anita's. Y'all know I like that line at Hobby Lobby because it's one of their cheapest. But it's also, I love this paint. Um, so it's True Red. And then this color is Americana. I just, I don't really stick to a brand. I just buy the colors I like and, and that I have found that are my faithful colors. This is called Ultra Marine Blue. And when I put it out on the plate today, I was like, oh, that color's so pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to take another paintbrush. How do I come up with all these ideas? I'm the brains of the operation. I give her all these ideas. <laughs> Janet, don't let him lie. <laughs> I told him not to ever oh, lie. Yeah, <laughs> so anyway. Your eyes don't um, get stuck like that. <laughs> yes, Tara. They are they're on their way, actually. I got to mail them. I mailed them Friday. They should be, they should be getting there soon. Okay, it's Brenda in the 30s and windy. 30s and windy. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, snow squalls. No, no snow. It's May. Okay. I like some snow. No. I haven't seen snow in like... Not in May. Like two years. I don't even think it snowed it's, last year. It didn't snow here this year, I don't think. Okay, so anyway, guys. Um, So, uh, I, got, I just got a regular paintbrush. And then that paintbrush I used a minute ago, it's just... This is... I don't use fancy paintbrushes for 
anything. I don't buy expensive paintbrushes. This set actually came from, I don't want to drip it on my paper. This set came from Five Below. If you can believe that, if you have a Five Below store near you, this whole set came from there. And these were my absolute favorite paintbrushes. And they were $5 for like, I don't know, six or seven brushes. And I love these brushes. They, I just like them. But this is this is flat a flat brush that I used before, and it's called a filbert tip. It's just rounded. It's flat, but it's got a rounded tip. And then the one I'm going to use now, I don't really know what you call a round brush, and it's just got a fat end on it. But it doesn't really matter. Like I said, kids could do this with their fingers. Frost. Oh gosh. Mm -mm. Hey Teresa. Okay, so I'm just going to dip my my paintbrush into blue, and this blue is so pretty. Hot 98 here. Where are you, Lene? So then I'm just gonna kind of, um, I'm just gonna kind of paint my little blue field and just, I'm just gonna kind of dot it around. I don't want it to be a perfect square. I'm just kind of making an abs, kind of an abstract art, if you know what abstract art is. That's kind of what I'm, my goal is. Brenda's is just to kind of give you Man a. Manitoba. Yeah, Brenda's from Manitoba. That's a country. I don't know where it is, but I know it's a country. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Because I had to look it up when she told me that. So I'm just kind of making my little square, but I'm just kind of pouncing it around, giving it a little bit of texture. Because um, I don't want it to be a perfect square. I just, your eyes make the whole picture itself. So that's what abstract art is. It just comes together and makes a picture. So it kind of looks little compared to my flag, doesn't it? But it'll be okay. I'll go out here some. That look okay? Yeah. Okay. How are you going right. to do the stars? With white paint when the blue dries. Oh. <laughs> How are you going to do your stars? You want the fan? Yeah, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I know that is um, backwards, but it's facing the correct way, I promise. Thank Providence, you, Janet. Providence in Canada. Mm. Oh, it's in Canada. That's oh, okay. That's I got gotcha. you. Cool. Okay, so that's what I have so far. But so you can still see all the music and everything, but you know, um, through the paint, you can still see all that. So I'm just let I'm gonna let it dry, and then we'll add our stars. So my eyes Look, so my eyes make a picture of your picture. That's right, Jason. A bunch of shapes put together, and it's then it forms the actual picture. Providence in Canada. Okay, I was thinking it was a country. Lord Jesus, don't get me to talking about geography because I... I'm going to use nope. my phone as a paperweight. And you just set the fan down on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Thank guess. you, Cherise. I know it seems kind of little... We're going to add some stuff to it, so don't think, oh gosh, she's just doing finger painting tonight, but I like finger painting. Thank you, Sylvia. So let me get on my hands clean. So now we're going to work on our... Um, Colin, do you want to paint one? I got an extra. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Colin, I tried to get Colin to do the craft tonight. He would not do the craft. I was I've like, crafted Colin, and I've done enough This is today. what we're going to do. You can do the craft. And he's painted this afternoon. He painted this little sign. I Show painted, your sign I again. painted all day. Show Jason. Jason, Jason, your eyes are going to burn now because he's going to show I've you the sign the that he made today. So look, his eyes are going to burn. Ah! My eyes are burning. Jason, I, I, Jason on here is his uh, college roommate, and he likes LSU, so his eyes are burning. But you got to look at the side where all the pieces are raised off of the wood. It's all cut out of my Glowforge, and he painted that today. You need to do a craft on his hair. He got his hair cut. Okay, I got okay. my hair cut. Okay, so it's they're fresh, like, would you get on with the craft? Freshly cut. Okay, so I have just a canvas. If you wanted to use a frame, you could totally use a frame. Um, that's totally like his little sick faces um you tickle me jason you're sick in the head man so um i just have a in my stash this one's nine by twelve and it so happens that this paper fits right into my frame um so i am going Thank to you, Donna. um i worked very hard on it <laughs> he did work hard on it so last week it was miami dolphins this week it's um alabama, alabama. roll tide okay. for all you alabama fans out there <laughs> roll tide Donna hey stacy Telling Trinity. Telling Trinity. Okay. What is that? I mean? cut it myself. He 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 did. So he I really technically cut it. didn't cheat on her. And he painted it. Okay. So no, all I'm gonna do oh, all I'm gonna do is um instead of pulling all Dad, these staples out okay. because um oh your dad's on. Instead of cut instead of pulling each one of these staples out, 
I'm just going to cut my canvas off, okay guys, because this is going to end up being covered up from the back anyhow. So I am just going to take my brand new exacto exact knife that my husband was so gracious and came in here and changed the blade. So I'm cutting this down right here. Because trust me, if you've ever tried to pull all these staples out of a canvas, then um, you, you know how hard that is. You need to sell those, Lee. I want one. What? I think she's on that The Alabama thing? Well, Nancy, it, I would love to, but when you sell something like that that's uh, copyrighted or it's collegiate material and I don't own the rights to it, then, um, yeah, Alabama would be knocking at my door. So It would be a cool opportunity to get some autographs. <laughs> yeah, while your mom's going to jail in handcuffs, can I have your autograph? I'm having to pay some retribution money for yeah selling some stuff. Yeah. Because, believe me, you'd be surprised at what all they do own. Um, they own, the, the phrase, Roll Tide Roll, is actually trademarked through um, Alabama. So, if you even put Roll Tide Roll on something, or Roll Tide, then, or any other team's slogan, like Mississippi State is Hell State, uh, Cowbells, all that stuff, they will, they can come after you if they choose to. Uh, I bet they're they're kind of I bet they're kind of lenient. Well, I'm not selling it. As so long as you're not making like a monster. It profit don't matter if you're making a monster profit or not. If you're selling something that's got their logo on it, or not their logo, but their but I'm not selling it because you did it for yourself. Thank you, Elizabeth. But we just made it for personal use, so um, it's okay. I'm not selling it. I know, Nancy. It's awesome. I wish I could. And to get a collegiate license is love money to be able to sell their material and stuff that's why when you see anything with like a with disney on it or disney material or out you know teams or nfl teams or any kind of stuff like that that's why it costs more because the people who made it have to have an actual um they have to buy the license to do that so that's why those materials cost more well why didn't you show that tray we did but that instead of Pulling it. What did she say? Oh, I did. I didn't pull them, Nancy. I actually cut around that one too. But I pulled all the pieces out. But I did cut around the, the staples because, Lord, it's it's something else. So now I'm left with this. Okay? You just have that piece of canvas and if you, you wanted to pull this off, you definitely could because it'll just come right off. And I think I'll just do that just to make it look easier. It look a little cleaner. Y'all aren't being chatty tonight. Where's everybody at? All the peeps are here watching. You helping? Are you going to help now? Yeah. He's going to help now. You feel like you're struggling. If we're doing a manly craft, you'd be doing something. But nobody here wants to see a manly craft except Somebody me. last night asked about a manly craft. Um, I think Bill said something about it. Oh, is that what Bill said? Where is Bill? No. Bill's not even on tonight. Where is Bill? Bill and Carol? I don't know where they are. They might be doing some They're family probably stuff. doing some. They got some family. A lot of people probably have some family stuff going on too. Never mess with copyright. There's a bunch of people who stores on Etsy. Yes, Kaylee, you're exactly right. They will they will send you a cease and desist letter or something like that. Yep. And then they'll come after you. Um I've heard of people having that. Oh, thank you, Donna, for watching and listening. I jacked this corner up, I'm sorry. Just don't cut your finger. I have a my blister's much better today, but gosh, it hurt last night. Now we got a hot mess. Okay, so now I'm left with this. This is going to be the back where the staples are, so I'm not too worried about them. You know what? When you go over there and turn, just hit the light minus down, just button a couple of times. Please, because that's what it is, I think, because when I hold this up, Don't usually worry. it's not this bright. Your trusty assistant is My on assistant the is going to turn down the light. Just, like, hit the little minus button. So I feel like I'm in the better? sun. One more. Okay. Okay. Whew. Better? I feel like I'm sitting on the edge of the sun. It's bright and I can't see. Colin, rip up that piece of paper like a man. She Jeez, said that. kid. I didn't rip anything up. Look. So that's what I have. I know it looks all kiddish, but I promise it's a little cute. Rip that paper up. He said rip it up. Why are you ripping it up? Okay. So now we're going to actually do something to this. Making dinner while watching. Okay, Sharice, what you making? I might have to come over to your house and get some food. Your craft from last night, and he thought it was chicken wire. Couldn't believe that it was rubber matting. 
So what did we say it was called? Let's not even get into that. I, a non-skid rug mat. There was actual that names for it that so, was in the chat so Let me show night. everybody in case they didn't get to see it. This is what we made last night. This is not chicken wire. It's one of those rubber mat, non-slip uh, things that go under your rug on your floor. And it's rubber, and I painted it uh, to look like chicken wire. So it's actually... That's not wire. It's just rubber stuff from the Dollar Tree that I paid a dollar for. That he was cutting. <laughs> oh, okay. So now you could paint this. You could do whatever you want to to it. But I think I'm going to actually stain it. And I'm trying to think. Do I want to do it? Do I want to do it like a brown? Or you think I want to do it gray? Brown, gray. What do you think? I'm just gonna kind of wash the paint over it actually. He loved it so much as I do. I do too. I don't know. Mini pizzas and I'm, cheese bites. You think I should have stained it brown? I do. Where's my plate? Uh, I'm feeling brown. Brown? Brown. Brown town. Downtown brown. Oh, thank you, Tarita. Thank you. I think so. Jason says brown too, in all capital. Brown. Downtown brown. He's Isn't being extra. Like a, wasn't that like a... Basketball player look, or something? Look. Okay, huh? Let's say poke the hole with the... No, I got exactly. it. Okay, so let me show y'all what I'm doing. This is traditional burnt umber. It's Americana, and I'm almost out, and it's almost an emergency because this is, like, my go-to for staining wood. Um, so I just put a little bit out on my plate, and I'm going to get a paintbrush, just any old paintbrush. I think this one came from Ikea. I get paintbrushes everywhere, guys. I don't... Ikea says paintbrushes? They have, like, stuff in the kids' section. Like, paint kits and stuff. So, what I'm doing is dipping my paint... Look at my nasty water jar. That is my mason jar, water jar. I've cleaned it out four times. <laughs> it's got that. stuff all over it. Okay. So, I'm just dipping it in the water and getting my brush, my brush wet. And it's kind of my brush. Your getting brush. my brush yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't talk. You hey, Michelle. Hey, Beth. So my brush is wet, and I'm just going to pat it out on my plate, and it makes a little puddle. And then I'm going to pull a little of that brown. I'm gonna it's put this about over time here. to have another roast for dinner. Yep, it is. Okay, so I'm just... I make a better roast than she does. What are you talking about? Probably so. You live with me for I told him, but probably nearly so. a year and a half. Okay, so my I'm just... roast for fire. I'm just putting in a little bit of that brown paint into my water. So I kind of water it down a good bit. And this is, I'm just going to brush it on the wood. And you may have seen a bunch of other crafters do this because this is our cheat for staining. Because stain smells and takes hours and overnight to dry. And then we don't have time for all that. We want it right now. So I'm just kind of dipping in the paint and the water and just brushing it on. So it's going to look like stain. And it works real good. And you can do this with any color. Um, if you want to use red or blue, you could do this and stain the wood. It makes it very pretty. So I'm going to get a little bit more water. And then I'm just going to put it out here on my plate. And pull some more paint in. And make a little... I'm making mud, basically, is what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to paint this on. We'll see how it's coming. Look how orange it looks on the camera. It does look orange. It, it's, it's much darker a, in person. Yeah, it's much browner in person. That light's making it look this orange tint color. Hey, Karen from to, Michigan. I may have to go back over it with some darker brown. You just may need like a, a darker, another coat on it you once you so? get done with the initial one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, go over it with another brown color. Yeah. Or I could brush some gray into it and make it look weathered. Yeah. Y'all see how it's looking? It just stains that wood right, and it does look it orange does, on this it camera. Does, it, it just looks lighter. Well, one day I was painting something orange in here. I forgot what it was, and on the camera it looked like school bus like, yellow. I'm gonna eat some dinner. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Thank you, you Jason. Love, love you too, too Jason. Jason. I miss you, bud. Yes, he does. He talks about you all the time. Okay, so I'm just brushing all this mud that I made. It looks like mud. On. Um, Y'all are being quiet. Get my paint. Get it all painted. Try not to get my hair in it. Hey, Kathy from hey, Iowa. Hey, Kathy from Iowa. Welcome. We're making a little patriotic craft. 
try to get Colin to do the craft. And uh, I can't. He I can't. wouldn't do it. I've crafted out for today. It's time to watch somebody else do something. You can't be crafted out. I'm crafted out. And it's not your passion because you can't be crafted out. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much crafting. That, I think that looks really good, Mom. Don't it? it looks pretty. I told you. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm glad we went with the brown. I feel like gray would have been too, too, too light. Too light. Yeah. I want something to contrast. You already got too much light on your paper. So have y'all, has any of, of y'all ever done this with a frame? Have you ever um, done a reverse canvas? Hey, Linda from Maryland. Maryland. Woo! What's it doing in Maryland? I bet it's cold. It's her first time watching. I know. It? I suppose it's welcome. We're glad you're here. This is my son, and he's here visiting. And I'm just staining this uh, what you were frame. Doing. <laughs> Very true. Who? Do the weather. Kimberly says, do the weathered look. The weathered look with the gray? Yeah. Okay. I might do that. Cherie says, quiet people are just so interested in what you're doing. I mean, I'm kind of interested. Oh, is that what's going on? Is that why you're quiet? All right, so see, I got my, got it stained. If you've never tried oh, this, you absolutely need to try it. Um, even the Dollar Tree has frames. This is a 9 by 12, so they don't have, I don't think they have weird sizes. If you can find them, they're hard to find their canvases. But So I just grabbed this because I had it in my stash. Um, so now I guess maybe, oh, I forgot to do the inside. Hey, Susan from North Carolina. Does Colin work it. while I'm school? Actually, I am working right now. Um, I'm working for my church that I go to. Uh, they, I'm, I'm there anyway. I do, actually, I do live streams for their, for my church right now. And, uh, the pastor knew that I was out of school and wasn't doing anything. And he actually offered me to come work at the church for a little bit of money every week and, you know, I told him I'd do it for free. I mean, because I love being at the church anyway. And he was like, man, you know, we'll pay you a little bit. So I'm actually doing some, like, carpentry work for them. Um, just odds and ends. I've painted the walls for the sanctuary. Stuff like that. So little odds and ends here and there. But, yes, I do work since I'm out of school right now. But uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll get, start my big boy job here. <laughs> big and, boy job. In the next month or so. so. Adulthood is this to happen. Crap's about to get real. It real is. life it's bills to, and stuff it's about to hit the fan <laughs> you know, we always want to be free when we're young and want to be an adult and have freedom well when you have freedom that comes with responsibility and bills <laughs> but you'll be alright you can handle it okay I had to get off my hands alright here's my frame drawing see look how orange it looks on the camera it does it, it looks very... more brown in person but I'm going to add some I think I'm going to add some gray to it but i got to figure out what gray because you know my elephant is my elephant's dead. I used all my elephant Waverly paint last night. So I'm going to go with this steel. I'm going to try you, to Jane. see what this looks like. Really a good kid. Thank you, He Kathy. is Kathy. He's never given me any trouble. He's, he's, he's a good kid. So I'm using, this is steel. Hey, there's, there's old Bill. There's Bill? Where have y'all been? <laughs> we were just talking about you. Your ears must have been burning. <laughs> this is Waverly steel. I, I used all my elephant last night, so I'm having to resort to this lighter color, and I'm just going to put a little blop out here on my plate. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to make it look like weathered wood. Bill said, hey, Colin. Oh, and Lee. <laughs> oh, and Lee. That's the way I do him. I say, oh, hey, Carol. And Bill. <laughs> oh, yeah, Miss Miss J, I know. After all the stuff me and your son got into, I know, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm just, I'm using the same exact brush. I still got brown in it. And you can see, and I'm just going to kind of pull some gray over here in my little puddle. My water. So I'm Jan, try to make... it, it, it is a big boy job. I, I like using that phrase because I haven't uh -huh. hit I haven't hit that stage that yet. Kind of looks neat. Though. I've had a I've had a lot of jobs in my day. He has. He's well rounded. From, I've picked up trash on the trash truck before. Let's see. I put up bouncy houses for kids' birthday parties. Um, actually, actually, fun fact of the day to all you crafting people. I worked at an embroidery shop for three, for two and a half years of my my when I was at junior college. Um, I worked for a embroidery place, and we did specialty specialty embroidery stuff for like if you wanted something monogrammed, like a purse or something like that. So I did all that stuff. A and, lounge chair. And, and it was also a boutique as well. But I embroidered, so I know how to sew. I know how to embroider stuff. Oh, yep. uh, vinyl, anything like that. I can do that. He can do it. 
He gave me a chair one year for Mother's Day, and it had my initial, like a lounge chair that you fold yeah. out, like go to a baseball game and sit in, and it had my initials in the back of it, and they like stuck the chair up in the machine and did it. They sure did. They had a big, the big industrial um, machines, the big, big like six heads across the room. It's a yep, big one. They're huge. They're and they huge. will get you too. They will hurt you. Better not have your fingers in there. Yeah, Janet, I actually, I, I've had so many different jobs, I can't fit them on my resume, and I had a couple different jobs. On, yep, I've bussed tables. I've cooked at a restaurant. I've done all kind of stuff. But you know, it's um, he did them while he went to high school and stuff. And yeah, I've had a job ever since I had my driver's permit. So. All right, so this is working good. I'm actually putting some gray on, cause so you can see how it looks stained. And then this is with I put this the steel with a little water and just kind of. Um, and lightly brushing it on to make it look a little weathered. It's actually looking good. Maybe it'll cut down on that, the way it looks on the camera. It looks orange. It's weird. Okay. See any spots I missed? <laughs> so I always go, oh, I, I, I think it looks really good. Looks kind of weathered. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to get back to our, our flag. We got, see, I told you. So look, I missed that whole side. You saw it, Kim. I do it every time. I'm like, oh, I'm done. Okay, nope. I got a whole side. Is Carol on? I like that saying, Miss J. That's a good what one. What did she say? Like I tell him, that's why why a vehicle has a much longer windshield than a rear view mirror. You got to look forward, not behind. Just so. That's it. Always keep moving forward. Yep. As long as you're moving forward, you're making progress. Okay. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry and get all the paint off my hands. We're gonna get back to my flag. My little kitty watercolor painting over here is what it looks like. You're a jack of all trades. He is. He's he's very well rounded. He his first I guess your first job was actually busting tables at the fish camp. Is that yep. right? Okay. So he bust tables after um, on weekends at our fish camp that we where we used to live. And um, so we we would go to a restaurant and after we get eaten. He would start piling up all the dishes in the, I always pile the dishes up in the middle of the table when we got done. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, mom, somebody has to come clean all this up. So we're going to just help them out and put them all in the middle so they won't have to do as much work. And I was like, there's a life lesson to be learned there. I still do it every now and again. Yeah. It depends on where I'm at and how I much is there. I room on my plate for white. Okay. So here's what we got. If you're just getting on, this is the Star Spangled Banner. It is actually the sheet music, and my, my flag is facing the correct way. It's just backwards to you. Um, engineer the she shed, she said. <laughs> I hope it don't get struck by a lightning. <laughs> what? Her she shed. Oh. My she shed don't get struck by she a lightning. She <laughs> shed. Somebody done burnt down my she shed. Somebody done burnt down my she shed. I got a little room. <laughs> so anyway, so I took the sheet music and printed it out. And I've painted, I just took simple little strokes and went wavy little strokes across there in red. And then I did the blue. And so now we're going to paint some little stars. And I got white somewhere around here. Always been like that. Always stack my plates and I feel, yes. It, but it makes you, to me, it makes you think about other people. Okay? Yeah. Also. Donna, this is just a piece of copy paper. We is. printed it out of the printer about an hour ago. Yes. It's just copy paper with the lyrics on there, and the, uh, it's just sheet music. I do think it worked, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just copy paper. Plain old, just white copy paper. See how wrinkled it is it's kinda the paint? It's just kind of wrinkled up a yeah, little bit. We're going to try we'll, to fix that. But once you put it back in okay. there, it'll tack it down. So don't get scared of this part. Yeah, you could do it on cardstock, too. It would probably do a lot better. Yeah, it would probably hold it a lot better. So, got this little bitty bitty brush. It's all frazzled looking, too. Look at it. <laughs> So I'm just going to dip it in my white paint and then roll it around and get some of the paint off. And I'm just going to make a little, like I'm drawing a star. Nothing fancy. I don't want them to be perfect. Hey, I kinda Christine. Want it, I kind of want it. Hey, Christine. When you finish. About Amazing Grace. I guess we missed it. Lee, when you finish, go back and look at my question about Amazing Grace. Oh, okay. We'll get to it. We'll be right on top of that. We gotta get, we gotta pick our person too while we're. Yep, we do. We do gotta okay. do that. We're gonna pick our winner from last night, from everybody sprinkling. Be careful, you're settling in because of copyright. If you're 
selling it because of copyright. Oh, selling this? No, I'm not. I'm just doing it for my thing. Or, or are you talking about the Alabama sign? Yeah, we're not selling that either. Oh, yes. I very well know they will come after you. I don't know from experience, but I have heard horror stories of places coming after people. So, look, I'm just, just roughly drawing in stars. I'm not a drawer. I can't really draw. Um, so, <laughs> I'm just kind of roughly... I don't really want them to look like they're... Um, oh, she said the music. The music, yes. Well, and actually... It has Francis Scott Key and John Stafford Smith. Yes, I'm not going to sell it, though. But it, it was actually a free printable on... Um, Google. Google. It was on, either on Google or Pinterest. I'm going to find it for y'all and link it. Hey, Patty from Wisconsin. Hey, Patty. Um, is it snowing in Wisconsin? A lot of people up here say it's snowing where they are, but I don't know. And I'm just roughly, like I said, I'm just roughly doing little stars. No biggie. Like I said, your, little, your kids could do this. Not it's not real hard. I'm just drawing a bunch of little stars. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I think you got enough. I just want them to look kind of. You want to leave a lot of blue. Yeah, I just want it to look rough. I don't want it to look like I'm I'm trying hey, to. Hey, Miss Hey, Grandma. So there's my stars. See how it says all the let. You can see all the music through there, and it's really really rough looking. I'm trying to get y'all to show. I just bare just took the brush and just went across the paper. Now the fun part. Let's see if our frame's dry. So our frame is dry. So see, I put a little, I stained it with the paint. I took the paint, watered it down, painted the whole frame. Then I dipped it in a little bit of gray um, chalk paint, the steel color. And then I just um, watered it down and brushed it on top of it. And so it looks, um, it looks all weathered now. Whoop, my paper's blowing off. I'm going to get my stars to dry. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Lou, who is your favorite creative to watch live? Well, you know who I'm going to say my favorite is, is Carol and Bill. That's my favorite. Carol and I have gotten to be really, really good friends. I've never met her, but I'm going to get to meet her in July when we go see Brooke uh, at her live event, her refab event. I'm going to meet her in Nashville, and I'm going to get to see her. So I'm so excited. That's, but she's my favorite. But I love all the crafters. I watch all of them. I love them. Um, a lot of them are in the same coaching group I'm in, so we're all circle sisters, and there's no competition. It's always community of a competition. I love every one of them, and you know, it's it's a big, it's a community in that everybody supports each other. So it's it's really you know what you've been taught your whole life is you know it's competition, competition. No, not with this. It's not. With not with all these ladies. They are wonderful people, and they give their heart and soul into it, and as well as I do. And so, it's just a big community. Wow, Mom. That hit deep. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> oh, okay. man. Right, All right, so I got this. That's right. Struck, struck a tear now, up you told me, now, you totally made me forgot, forget where I am. You got to wipe the tears away. Wipe the tears away. Okay. You totally made me forget what I was doing. Oh, I got to get my box, and I got to... Okay, so here's the canvas that we cut off of the frame. You know, it was like this. And I cut this around the staples and pulled it off. We're going to put it back on. So now I've got to... So you've got this canvas with these indentions in it. So I'm basically just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along those lines or, or somewhat along the lines. So Because I'm going to put it back, put the music on here and put it back on. I love all the crap. I always see you um, Jan, on Carol Jan, and Bill. Yes. Jan asked Carol who. It's Be Inspired Market. It's Carol trip. and Bill. And um, it's B, B Inspired Market. It's B-E-E -E, like a B. That's her little um, her little logo. It's B Inspired Market. And um, she and I pretty much talk almost every day. And <laughs> we help each other. And I watch Lizzie and Aaron. I watch Brooke. I watch a bunch of people, and one of my other friends that I talk to a lot is uh, Crafting with Kimber. If you have not watched her, she's uh, she's got a page and she has a Glowforge too, and she cuts out a lot of stuff with her Glowforge. Um, Kathy, and, uh, she paints and she does all kinds of stuff. Kathy Evans said she went back. She went back to Hobby Lobby today and stood oh, in line Lord. for not one but two hours. 
to two get or in or at the and cash they, they register. Only, they're only letting 10 in at a time. Oh my goodness, not here. There's nobody at the door counting anybody. Mm. You don't even have to have a mask. You just go in. That's crazy. Just stay my distance from people. Kathy, okay. you are very patient. You patient are. You person. must have wanted some stuff bad. Did you get some good deals? Did you find anything on clearance like I did the other day? So did you see poor Aaron today? People were being mean, and she came on in tears. No, I didn't see that, but I did see where they were being mean to her the other day. Yeah, there's no sense in that. There is no sense. She is a person just like anybody else. She has a family. She has, she has children, and she's putting her heart and soul into this, and she comes on and does all this just to do it. And to sit on there and be mean, is that is just a whole nother level of I don't know what. But, um, not here either. Paid yeah. you buy anything in Hobby Lobby today? Yeah, I do a mask, but anyway, so you know, did you even go in Hobby Lobby? We are, you know, we're tall, I guess, in our group, it's just to ignore that kind of stuff. But when it gets to that point, it's like you just have to block and ban people. And thank goodness I've not had any of that yet, but I'm sure it's coming. It's coming. You put your we put ourselves out there in front of. In front of people, in front of strangers, that anybody can come on here and watch, and anybody can come on here and say whatever they choose. So we're we're being vulnerable to put ourselves out here because it's not easy to get in front of this camera, and then to have somebody be mean to you and try to knock you down. I mean, this is this is difficult. If if y'all have never even thought about being in front of a live camera, it, this is difficult. If I mess up, if I spit flies out of my mouth or whatever happens. It's live in front of all of you to see. And so it's really um, it's really vulnerable to do this. And so when people be mean to people that do, I, I just, it just, and Erin is a sweet person, sweet, sweet lady. So, hey from Kentucky, Cherie. And hey, Amy. I was just on there, in there the other day. Okay. All right. She, she met some people to sell some stuff from her closet today. Oh, at, that's, at right. that's right. Oh, cool. Okay, so I got my flag. Carol's watching. Okay, so what I did, if y'all don't know, and you're just getting on, I see some people get on, getting on. This is, I printed off the Star Spangled Banner sheet music from, I think it was Google or Pinterest. I'm going to go find it, and I'm going to link it when I post the after pictures. And you're going to get a better, a better view of this once I post the after pictures, because this light, and it's backwards. <laughs> but I just painted some strokes over it, and I painted the blue, and just did some kind of real busy, you know, real quick stars. And so that's how I did that. I just painted it. I let it dry. And then I took a frame. Just, I mean, a frame. Uh-uh. Hold that. A canvas. A canvas. I, I, I took the canvas off. I just ripped it off from around it. Cut it. Ripped it off the staples. Stained it with some brown paint and some water. Mm. And then I did some gray over it. Made it look all rustic. And then I cut my canvas back out. This is the canvas that came off the front. And I just cut it around the parts that's, um... That, that I could tell where it had been over the canvas. I just cut along those lines and cut it out. So it's going to actually fit back onto our, our frame like this. Okay? So that this is how it's going to look. But our little thing's going to be inside there. So now I've got to get this onto this. Fun times. This is going to be fun. i got to turn the fan off. Though. Kathy said, I got some good deals along Easterwood. B tassels were only $1.80 each. Yes. I got all they had. I got all the wooden bunnies for a dollar each. So if y'all went to Hobby Lobby where Kathy lives and there's nothing, it's because Kathy bought it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, Kathy. It's okay. I don't blame you. My mom has to go up and down every single I know what they have at Hobby Lobby. You know, as a kid, as a kid, I used to hate going to either Jackson, Mississippi or Hattiesburg, Mississippi because both of those places have a Hobby Lobby. But where we used to live in Meridian, Mississippi... Does, didn't have a Hobby Lobby until about a, probably the beginning of the year, actually. So we would have to travel to go to Hobby Lobby. And we had to go to Hobby Lobby every time we went to those two locations. Of course. And we stayed in there, and I, I guarantee, I'm one. not even, no exaggeration whatsoever. We went up and down every single aisle, and it took about three hours. They're, they're going to side with me not, because you're talking to the wrong crowd if you're I know I'm talking to the wrong crowd. <laughs> I just want people to humor me and, and see the abuse that I was put through as oh, a child. Oh, it's just such abuse. <laughs> so, see, he turned out so bad. Dang, I don't know where I went wrong. It must have been all those trips up and down the aisle at Hobby Lobby. You don't want to miss anything. I promise you, she didn't miss anything. She picked up 
everything. Look, when I'm in there and I see some poor soul in there that's lost. Oh, excuse me, December. That's lost in the Hobby Lobby. I'd be like, what are you looking for? And they're like, oh, I'm hunting the felt. And I'm like, it's um, it's right down there, like she three aisles down, you know, right there to check a left. See, see look, okay, guys. Is. So Chelsea Page Bowling, the person that's commenting, that is my girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. And she's an awesome person. She is. And she likes Hobby Lobby too. <laughs> she likes Hobby Lobby. She likes Hobby Lobby, but not as much as this person does. Mom takes Paige to <laughs> Paige to Hobby Lobby when she comes up here, and it's a whole fiasco. By the time Paige comes back. I mean, she's like a zombie because mom is just worn and ragged when she goes to like, because she, she goes to Hobby Lobby, she goes to Michael, she goes to Dollar Tree. I told her where I think she wants to go, and she doesn't go. <laughs> so, okay. So boo, I'm boo, Colin. Three hours in Hobby Lobby. She, I could spend the whole day. Well, I promise you, you and mom need to link up, and y'all just need to go have a party. Yeah. And I'll be outside cooking burgers on my little outdoor grill out there. You don't have to go. <laughs> uh, oh, see, I told you. They're not going to be on your side because all these ladies on here, I'm sure, can go to Hobby Lobby and spend two hours. And I don't spend two hours in Hobby Lobby. Don't, don't even say Look, that. okay, okay, to, to, to put it this way. My, so, Paige, my girlfriend, she's a teacher. She's a kindergarten teacher. Yes. And I made her a tool sign today. So, she puts up with okay, 15, put, 15 kids. You know, that was kind of her average issue. I'm just going to put a dot of glue because I'm going to hold this down where I want it to put it. But I'm actually going to use adhesive spray I'm going to hit attempt to. But I want to hold that down right where I want it you to just be. Cut me off. I'm sorry. I was trying to tell them what I'm doing. They want to know what I'm doing. Not burning <laughs> myself tonight, ladies. I'm sorry. I, I got caught up in story time. Sorry. But my girlfriend's a kindergarten teacher, so she puts up with 15, okay, uh, five, six year olds all day long. And she can handle that and handles it like a champ. When she goes to Hobby Lobby, mom, it. it just about kills her. I couldn't do it. Because mom okay. stays in there so long. All right, we won't take her to Hobby Lobby anymore. I can go to Hobby She'll Lobby. She'll go to Hobby Lobby with you as long as you don't camp out in there. I don't. <laughs> I can go to Hobby Lobby any day of the week. Any day of the week. Because it's right down the street from my work. I mean, literally, it's like a mile and a half from Any day I'm. or every day? Any day of the week. I can go okay. anytime I want to, except Sunday. I was in there almost an hour the other See? Day. See? And she wasn't even with me then. See? Okay. It's a woman thing. All right, so I'm going to do a trick because if I spray this and he's a spray, you can ask Carol. She's on here. You can ask her. She had it in her hair one time. <laughs> and I don't want it to get in my hair. I don't want it to go everywhere. But this stuff um, is Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Um, I got this, I think, at Walmart. You can get it at Lowe's. You can get it at I, I think Hobby Lobby sells it. But it's really good. You know, I'm all about the Gorilla nowadays. So I'm going to do it. Yeah, Colin's moving. Shh. Jason said you need to do something to your I'm, hair. I'm getting out of the so, blast zone. So he's in the blast zone. So I'm going to take a cardboard box and I'm going to lay this thing in here and I'm going to spray it so it will not go all over my table. Because, y'all, it will go all over the tabletop and then the next thing you know, your whole tabletop will be sticky. Look, I'm going in the box, people. Everybody's probably going, what in the world is she doing? So I'm just basically spraying a little bit on the canvas. I'm getting out of the blast radius. Okay. You're not in the blast radius. I mean, ugh. Oh, and it stinks so bad. Whew. But that, it works awesome. Uh, that comes from us walking up and down the mall all day on Saturdays when we were kids. Yep. Okay. So I got my, I sprayed it on the, on the canvas. Okay. And then now I'm going to try to get it to adhere down to my, to the canvas, the paper to adhere to the canvas. Oh, look at how good it's looking. It's, and it's actually smoothing out. It's you know how the out. paper bubbles up when you get it wet because of the paint? It's actually flattening it out. So it looks really, really good. Glue blaze to my fingers. Oof. Look, I, can, I mean, I sprayed it right here. I can actually feel it right here on my table. It just goes. It's, yeah. So be careful if you buy this. It's really great stuff. But my be hair careful. Is okay. It will be everywhere. It's not in my hair, Carol. I'm good. But that's why I had to use that box. I was like, I gotta do something because it's gonna go everywhere and I'll have it in my hair. Okay, so I got it on my, my canvas. See, it's on there, it's not coming off. But I did I did put a dot of hot glue up here just to hold it in place where I wanted after I centered it. There's the back. I put it on the white side because it's not really gonna matter though. So now I'm gonna turn it face down and turn it around and look at it, make sure I got it centered. 
I promise y'all the after pictures are going to look so much better. Teresa McElmore says, could you Mod Podge it? Oh, you know what I want to do, though? Yeah, I thought about Mod Podge it. Um, the only reason I did not was because I was scared it was going to bubble up. And I just, I mean, if you have good, I have good luck with Mod Podge. I love Mod Podge. I'm just going to put a little, some little white strokes in here in my flag. I forgot to do that. Um, I just didn't want it to bubble up and maybe mess up my paint. So I did not. And I knew that adhesive spray already had it, and it was quick. But yes, you could totally mod podge it. Stinks, don't it, Colin? Yeah. It is strong. <coughs> Ooh, and I just used a little me. bit, a little bit of it. So I'm just going in here and putting me some little white highlights on my flag. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. You could use uh, mod podge, and that was, of course, my first thought. Okay. Yeah, Kaylee, our our um, governor from Mississippi actually. Monday? No. This coming Monday it'll be the that yeah the, the hairdressers. This coming Monday, our our hair salons and stuff like that can open back up. Okay, so I just added some little white brush strokes in there, and I gotta let them dry. Just a little accent. Thank you, Teresa. A little something. Oh, something. thank you, Teresa. And Rochelle. Added a little. And Peggy. Thank y'all. I'm blessed. What are, you, what are you blessed for? Huh? What are they saying you're blessed for? Because I sneezed. Oh. AJ Davis. Is What's on. up, AJ? Hey, AJ. Okay. I'm just letting it dry before I mess up my white paint. So I hate that y'all's Hobby Lobbies aren't open. But I've been. Um, it, ours opened. Yesterday was a week ago they've been open. And I went, I think, Monday. And then I had to go back because I forgot something I needed for a live. That's upcoming. I, I still got to work out the kinks. But it's going to be awesome. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a an item to go in my craft room that is decor, and that's all I'm gonna tell y'all. I just gotta get the kinks worked out of it, um, but it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna give y'all a tour one day when I get it cleaned up. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> it is not bad. One day you should have done it that day that me and Paige come up here and cleaned it. For I show up to them right now and they're like, "That's not messy. It's really not. Look, it's just wood and." It's not messy. Oh. Can't wait till you do the gnomes. Uh, yes, I'm going to do those gnomes. Um, those are actually made of clay from Hobby Lobby. Um, get, can you get one down? What am I looking for? Wait, wait here's one that's closed. Here, I'll get down. These little guys? Ooh. Um, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these live for y'all. Um, it will be a lengthy live, but I will. I'm going to do it. And it's... It's really not bad. Um, it's just it the drying time. Of course, it takes like a day or two for it to dry. So when I do it, I'm gonna have to actually make one and let it dry, and then do it live for y'all, and then we'll I'll paint it, you know, on the live. So I'm gonna have to prepare ahead of time. These hair salons are not open into the 22nd. Goodness, ours are opening Monday. I'm just worried how that's gonna go. Come to Virginia and stand in line for hours. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Yes, he is cute. And he's clay. So, um, I'm going to do him soon. Um, if, if you want to get the clay, if you have a Hobby Lobby, or you can get it on Amazon, you can order online. Let me show them the package. What kind of clay? That's what okay. I'm going to show you the package. Hold on. Uh, yeah, AJ, come on. Stop by, man. And congratulations on your coaching job, dude. I keep I try awesome. to keep up with you as much as possible when I see you on social media. Look, wait till they see me. Is this the clay? That's the clay. Look at this little guy. Dots. Dots. Yes. Dots. Yes. Modeling clay. They have paper. Look, it's backwards. It's, it's backwards. backwards. But this is um, what the package looks like. Yeah. That's Dots, what I modeling use. Cl modeling clay. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna need this. And you're going to need aluminum foil. And you need to... I get the aluminum foil from the Dollar Tree. That's what, that's what the base of these guys are. And then this is on top of it. But look how cute he is. But anyway, this is this package is $9.99. And then, of course, they have it on sale sometimes. But I use a coupon. And I get it um, for 40% off. But I can get... Depending on how big your gnome is, I can get maybe three, gnome, three or four gnomes out of this block. Um... But yes, I'm going to show that to y'all pretty soon. 
It's not hard. It's not as hard as you think it is. So you'll be surprised at how easy it is. A stay in place until the 28th. Wow. Wow. So yeah, we'll put our little gnome over here and let him sit there. Okay. I love like gnomes a though. Paperweight. He's not that heavy. No, he's not heavy. And then I figured he'd one. be heavier. That one's bottom is kind of. I used a certain kind of clay on the, these. Now this one I didn't, but this one I used a different kind of clay, and when it dried, it cr all cracked, and I was like. So I painted, I fixed them with some caulk and stuff. I mean, you can see some of the little imperfections. And then that's what I used for myself was the ones that cracked, not based on the ones that I sold. I have a booth in a vendor market, and I sell those there too. So that's what I was making them for, and they cracked. And I, I was think like, the well, gnome, the gnomes are a hit. Everybody likes the gnome. Yeah, I'm gonna do the gnome. So if you go, if you go to Hobby Lobby and you want to make a gnome, pick up some of this clay, okay? It's in the in the clay aisle. It's Doss. And it says modeling clay right there, if y'all can see that. Um, and I think you can get it on Amazon. It's made in Italy. But it's DOS and it says modeling clay. So it air dries. So, okay. A but I'll show y'all. Yeah. So now I'm going to get this on here the way I want it to go like that. Okay. Where's can my can you multitask? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, Elizabeth asks, will the Sculpey air dry clay work? Um, not the, not the, um, Fimo clay, like the, not the Fimo clay, or just the, is it air dry? I think it would work. I think it would work. Be is it easily breakable? Becky, yes. If I dropped it on the floor, it would break. Because, I mean, it's, yeah, it would break if I dropped it. So it's just something for you to sit up on a shelf and look at. So like kids and all couldn't play with it. But yeah, I think um, Crayola makes an air dry clay. You can certainly try it. If you have some of that clay at home, I would try it before, with what I had before I went out and bought some. For sure. And then if it doesn't work, then you know. But yeah, definitely try with what you have. But um, I make the base with aluminum foil. And I... Crinkle it up really tight in a in the shape that I want it, and then uh, cover it with clay, and, I, and I'll and I'll teach y'all how to do it. It's not hard. I always say it's not hard, and they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna say it's not hard again. And I gotta cut some of this off because it's too long. So now that Carol's on, somebody asked me, Carol, who my favorite crafter to watch was, and of course you know who I said. She's still on? Susan Kelly says, I will send you a picture of the gnomes that I made so you can tell me what you think. Okay. Send them on, girl. Send them on. People send me stuff all the time, and I'm trying to figure out how to how to open up my community page so I can um, so that everybody can post stuff there because y'all send me stuff all the time, and I absolutely love to see ev what everybody does. There's the gnome. Okay, so i'm just going right here and trimming off some of the stuff that um that spray made you sneeze didn't i know it kind of stirred me up a little bit that spray is strong it's stout. okay i'm just trimming off some overhang carol must not be on she didn't respond and i'm just gluing this straight to my frame air dry yeah you can use the air dry this is air dry it says mauling clay and it says air hardening like right here it says air hardening right here on the end but it just says modeling clay here but it's the dice brand and this is the white i think i don't know if it comes in color some of it comes in colors it's not going to matter though you're going to paint over it so it doesn't really matter i got off on the gnomes all right we, we hit a little we might have to make a patriotic gnome we could do it uh, red and white polka make dot. Make him look like Uncle Sam. He can look like Uncle Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do patriotic gnomes. My cousin and her girls made made me a necklace mm -hmm. using Crayola clay, and when I took it off, barely squeezed it, it broke. Hmm. hmm. I mean, this is pretty... I mean, it's pretty solid. It's not... <laughs> it's not gonna really go anywhere, but, you know. But I, he's painting with craft paint. And this is my little signature I put on it on his little boo honey. His little heart. I put a little heart stamp on on, on all my gnomes. I put a little heart stamp on them. That's my little my little something something that I add to them. 
Kathy asked, how's the blistered finger? It's better. See, you can't even see it now. Nope. You can see it barely. She was just wild. It's better. I oh, wasn't. It was burning. Okay. All right. So now I got it all glued on. I sent you my garden wagon last week, and thank you for your input. Yes. The garden wagon was cute. So there's our little frame. I know it needs a bow or something, doesn't it? I don't have anything out here to make a bow. We got to do our drawing. Here, put that over We there. do have to do our drawing. We got to do our drawing, guys. We don't forgot. We'll wait till the end. Wait till the end. Why can't we do it now? What this is, is the little thing we're giving away for last night's all the sprinkling. I guess so. we can do it now. All right, so get your random thing out. So I have all these names. Y'all can see them. I have all these names. And y'all tell me if um, when you sprinkle. When you sprinkle, tell me, because uh, sometimes if I go back, um, and if you're, it tells me that so many people share, sprinkle, it tells me that, and then when I go to look at who all did, it won't show everybody to me, because it'll say, if their uh, Facebook profile is private, it won't show you their account. So I have to, like, uh, some matching faces. <laughs> what? I was reading a comment. I'm sorry. Definitely mom and son matching. That's funny. Continue. Continue. You saw so us, tell you me, saw you know, well. when, you know, tell me, always tell me if you do. Okay, so we have, because it said it was 55 people, and yep. I could only write down 35. So there's a, 20 people right there that I can't look at because their, their profile is private. And Facebook won't tell me who it is. But I wrote down everybody that said they had sprinkled and I wrote down all the other people where it showed me that they that they actually sprinkled so uh, um so we have 50 uh, yeah 30, 35, 35 sorry yeah. uh, 55 was the number so I have all these names and they're all numbered right here okay all the way down all the pages and so Colin's gonna do his little it says zero and you got the what do you got down to 35 yep Okay, zero thirty five. Now hit the I, show the thing stop. and hit the button. Take your the the, Lord. It in the she thinks I can't do that no more. He can't. Number fifteen. Number fifteen, Number 15. is Julie, Julie Noel. Noel. <laughs> Number fifteen is Julie Noel. Let's see where's fifteen. Julie Noel. Julie Noel is number fifteen. So Julie, this is coming to your house. Isn't it cute? So if you'll just um Send me your address. I will get this in the mail to you. And it's coming to your house. Is everybody so long? Because I don't see anybody commenting. Yeah. Can you help me? Yes, Kaylee. I love that uh, plant hanger thing. That was awesome. And see, if I open my community tab, I can see everything that, that y'all are making. Y'all send it to me. But then everybody else can see it too. And it would be awesome. So i got to figure out how to get that done. Wait, what am I putting on this? Huh? Am I putting something on it? Like a bow? I don't know what you're gonna do. Okay, so let me see. Where? Why don't you, add, why don't you ask the nice people? What does it need, guys? What does it need? A little salt, salt. See how cute it is. What should, does we it ask, need? should we ask them about about the the preference? No. Okay. Oh no. Nah, rabbit trail. Okay. Yeah. Rabbit trail. All right. What does it need? Does it need a bow? I can't make bows. <laughs> but does it need so It needs something. I know it looks like a little kid's finger painting from there, doesn't it? But it's but, really cute. I don't know why you're asking me because I'm ter I have terrible input. So does it need a bow? Oh, everybody's congratulating Julie. Rafi a bow. Okay. That's good. Okay, you see that hay looking stuff in that package? That's yep. Rafia. Yep. Good deal. I can get that, Kaylee, because it's really close by. <laughs> it's on my pegboard. It's gonna look better when y'all see the picture after it's gonna look so much better. Some stuff just doesn't look good on camera for some reason on on the video. So I get this from Dollar Tree. Y'all probably already all know that. It's a three bundle. This uh, this stuff is I have a love hate relationship with it. So it's not my first go to. Kaylee must use it and must like it. A star in the corner with Raphael. Where where can I get a star? Where do I have a star? A star? Yeah, somebody said a star. Um, huh? We have cutouts laying somewhere. Yeah, but they're too big. They were, no, they were... Uh, not the little ones. We don't have any little ones. I thought we had some scraps no, left over. Not, not any little, little big scars. I had Are to you cut done out with a glue gun? Ones. Yeah, you try. No, I got to turn uh, this on. It's all up in my way. One of your stars would look good. Yeah, but they're kind of big, though. They're like... 
big. Why? Like that up there. Where? Like them. They're too big. <laughs> Hold on. That's somebody's stars. <laughs> you can go some more. They're too big. No, but the insides of them. What do we do? Throw oh, them the, in the trash? No, no. There's some over here. Look over here. There's a pile of them over here. Those are mine. <laughs> yes, y'all. I forgot about the inside part. Duh. Y'all are so smart. There's red, blue. And, well, Colin is too. He's unfended now because I said y'all are smart. All right. This stuff, I, I just, ugh. this stuff does not like me. Damn. So I got red, blue, and white. Okay. So, y'all, this stuff doesn't like me. I think I'm just going to tie it in a knot. I have, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship. I love the way it looks, but, oh, it doesn't do. I hate it. You and Aaron are on at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be done, but I understand. Everybody's got their people they have to watch. It's fine. I'm watching comments. I probably don't hate you. I love Aaron, too. All right. So, I am just going to tie this in a knot. I'm going to make it quick because they got to go watch somebody else. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Does that look stupid? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is not my favorite uh, medium to work with. Because it just goes everywhere. I'm going to give it a haircut. Does that look stupid to do it that way? It, it does need a, it needs a haircut. I just so, gave it a haircut. Some type of way. That's a little much. Is it? It looks like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> going everywhere. Does that look okay? Yes, tying a knot. I don't, I'm telling y'all, this stuff is just like, uh, so in the corner, over here, by the blue or in the other corner, or like, maybe it needs to go down here. You're getting a lot of thumbs up, so I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like that. You don't like that? No. So it, over it here? It looks like it has a bow tie on. Okay, so like this? No, yeah. That star's going to be too big. You think? Or the blue or the white? Everybody's coming. I don't know where everybody went. Where's everybody at? I love Aaron to come here. Love them, but like you two more. Oh, thank you, Donna. You're so Teresa sweet. Said maybe half that. Maybe half what? The size? Yeah. I know. See, it's too big. Let me turn it around so you can see. Uh, I don't yes. have one smaller. Corner not by the blue. Yeah. This stuff, y'all, I'm telling you. Maybe I need to cut it down some more. It's just wild. It, it, some people can tame this stuff. I can't tame it. It just gets all... We're going to have a whole bale of hay by the time we I know. Done. I told you. It makes a mess. Okay. Like this, but then blue. By the blue. So should I? No, I don't do that. See, that's a little too big. Maybe none. Just star. I kind of so like the star. idea of just the star. Like that? Oh, so maybe, maybe just the star. Loop it and tie a strand in the middle. Oh. Raffia half. On the blue side, stack all three in the corner. There's so many different. Opinions. I know, like this. Yeah, I'm not really liking the raffia bow. Well, what do you mean to put that on there? That looks kind of cool. Well, yeah, since it's in the blue, it needs to go over here. It's kind of hard to hold it and see it at the same time. <laughs> Hello, gosh, Colin, two nights in a row. Yes, I'm I have to use uh, them while I can. I'm back. I'm back up for the weekend, so uh, I get Break to break out uh, a button. You put on the raffia. I got some buttons now. No, I, I don't. I don't <laughs> really like the raffia. Yes. That. T, what's T G A T? What's that? That is, I guess. That's that. What oh, this. Yeah, they like the stars. Three stars. The people like the stars. The people You're like going the stars. with the stars. Okay, now i got to hold it just like that. Do you want me to help? No, I'm going to put that one on. There you go. Alright, I'm going to just lift it up. I'm scared I'm going to... Carol must be watching Lizzie and Aaron. I'm kind of holding it down. 
these are part of my little kit that um, I did with the little, these little stars here. These little layer stars, they come with, they, they were inside of here and they come out. See, even Paige says stars. Too. Stars, okay. Great minds think alike. I know, everybody else said stars. I was trying to find the stars a while ago and she was going out. Like this? I was thought, you were talking about the big stars, I forgot about these. See, everybody likes the stars. Okay, well see, Colin, you should have done the craft. No, no, that's a Let's little see. much. Mine would look like a kid did it. Mine does look like a kid did no, it. No, it oh, does. It's running out the sides. Yes, yeah, stack stars. Okay. See? All right. Why are you looking really down? Good. Why are you looking down? Everybody was like, stars, 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 stars. stars, stars. stars. You got to give the people what they stars, want. Stars, 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 stars. Giving them, I'm, I'm asking their opinion because I value their opinion because. Do you value my opinion? Yes, I value your opinion. <laughs> I just thought you there's more about crafting things than you. <laughs> they have more experience of crafting. All right, I'm gone. See? Oh, now he's leaving me, guys. I'm going to hurt his feelings. i got to pull off some of this glue. It oozed out. I'm just kidding. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> he knows where his bread's buttered. He's not leaving. <laughs> I'm obligated. She the bought stars me are the something, something it needed. See? Yeah, yes, see? it is. Something, something. Ta-da. Da, 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 da. Look, it's waving. That mm -hmm. actually does really, really. You better stop doing that and the stars gonna fall off and then you grab They are not gonna fall off. That's Gorilla Glue. It's holding on the car bumper. I'm promising it's not going anywhere. Um, You had an <laughs> upload last night, remember? I that? did, and I had one the other night too. I think it's just when I'm in the room you have stuff like that. It is. Isn't I'm it cute? Genius. Making barbecue sauce. Oh, that sounds Ooh, good. Oh, that sounds delicious. Such a baby. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> He's so funny. I love it too, guys. I think it's cute. It looks better than, well, yeah, ugh, No, ugh, I gotta get... Ugh. I don't like that. Okay. Get that out of here. Alright. It's so stinking cute. Oh, y'all are so sweet. That's so... Y'all are so, so sweet. That's so American, I can hear an eagle screeching An in the eagle background. screeching in the background. Can't you hear it? And, and the planes are flying overhead. Colin going to be your weekend sidekick all the time? <laughs> I wish, but he's moving to Dallas. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. He is moving to Dallas. Not. Uh, probably end of June or if not after that because of the virus. It'll be like a more of like a surprise thing. Yeah, but I know Facebook is is going to do um, go live with, and you'll have another person, and you'll have a split screen, and somebody can be on the other side. So we want to get him to go live with us, and he can talk and look at the comments, and I'll just craft. Go wipe, wipe your tears, tears with, with your lavender, lavender toilet, toilet paper. paper. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'll smell fresh. Like I was lavender. telling him last night, I said, it's amazing that I see the same people come on and watch, and they're faithful of watching um, watching me, and that y'all remember stuff that I say, and then you say it back to me, and I'm like, they remember that I said that <laughs> about the toilet paper. It's the little things that get me. Kathy says, Zoom him in. <laughs> yeah, Zoom. We have a Zoom meeting with Colin in Dallas. That's why I'm getting an iPhone from a Samsung, because i got to be able to FaceTime and which I can FaceTime on my Samsung, I just can't do it from iPhone to Samsung because he has an iPhone. And um, then, plus, when y'all see me, everything won't be backwards, so that's gonna help too. So it's a win win situation. So I'm gonna go to the iPhone, going to the dark side from Samsung. <laughs> so, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna take some pictures of this. Um, and I gotta get Julie's address because Julie won the little, the little zipper pouch. And uh, I'm gonna take some pictures of this, I'm gonna put it up. I'm going to try to find this link to find this free printable of the Star Spangled Banner in case you want to do it. Because you got, if your kids or your, you got grandkids or anything like that, they, this would be so good for them to do. You could just get them to do the finger paint like this and then do the blue part and then just do their fingerprints for the stars in the white. And that would be so cute. You could put it out every year um, for 4th of July and Memorial Day. It'd be really cute. Yeah, I didn't know, Kathy, I didn't know it was, to, it was lavender scent until I got it home. And I was like, what is that smell? And then the package has got like little lavender little flowers on it. And I was like, oh, dear Lord Jesus, it's lavender scented. And the whole bathroom smelled like it. So I stepped in, in the cabinet and I was like, that's going to be in my emergency toilet paper. Because Lord Jesus, that stinks. It doesn't really stink, it's just strong. You'll need to get it. I know, I got to get a new apron because this is backwards. But I can do it on the other side. I'll do it on the other side and do it right. They don't have one. They don't have a mirror but image. Won't, but that won't look right because that's you'll have it inside outwards. 
The but, same's on this side. I know. But, but I have that, another one in there. I have another right. one just like because I have two packs. Oh, okay. Look, it's already as starting. It's it, coming off. Look. Remember, I was worried about sticking to this material anyway. Um, okay, I'm gonna, Becky, I'm going to try to find it, and I'm going to link it, so it may take me a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to link it to the picture when I post the picture after. I'm going to link the uh, actual where it came from. I'm going to try. Because it was like the first one that came up on Pinterest, I think. But, it, you know, it, I don't remember. But it's so cute. I think it is. But your kids could definitely do this and do little fingerprints and all that good stuff. Like I said, and you could, you know, put it up every year for um, July 4th. It would definitely be a hit. You can put whatever you want to up here. Use a frame. I just used a canvas, uh, a canvas and cut it out. And you don't have to do that. You can just use a Dollar Tree frame. Do whatever you want to do. This was some regular coffee paper. Just some craft paint. And you can embellish it how you want. I just happen to have these because I cut out wood shapes all day. So, um, but yeah. So, like I told them earlier, if y'all... I'm going to do the gnomes soon. I don't know when, but I'm going to do them soon because I have people asking. Um, this is the clay. It's DOS, and it says modeling clay. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's $9.99. Mm. I, I use my coupon to get it. And this is what I'm going to make the gnomes out of. So if you want to watch me do it first and then decide, oh, I can do that, but it's, it's, it's really not difficult. It's just smoothing and molding clay. So it's not, it's not hard at all. And it air dries. You just have to let it dry overnight, maybe two days. So it's not bad. So I'll have one already made, ready to paint, dried, and then I'll, I'll make one with y'all. And you have to have aluminum foil. Um, so I get my aluminum foil from Dollar Tree because it's cheap. And I just, you know, you're just winding it up and making a base for the gnome. So you're not cooking with it. Because it is kind of thin from the Dollar Tree. So anyway, so this is what I got, guys, tonight. Um, so I hope y'all have a happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I may, I may not be on Facebook a lot tomorrow because... Tomorrow's a hard day for me. Um, I'm, I lost my mom seven years ago, and um, I don't, I, you know, I like seeing everybody and their mom. I like seeing the pictures, but it's just, it's really hard when you don't have your mother, and it's, it's hard for me to see everybody, you know, and it, I know I should reflect on me being a mother, and I do, I do, but I probably won't get on a whole lot tomorrow, and I hope y'all understand. Um, it's just, it's a hard time. And if you've not lost your mom, you just go, you need to hug her extra, extra hard tomorrow for me because, um, you just don't know until you lose your mom, how hard it really is. Um, so my mom was a terrific woman and I loved her dearly and her and my dad loved each other dearly. And, um, I miss them every day, every day that goes by, I miss my parents. So if you still have your parents, you hug them extra tight tomorrow for me. Okay. And y'all hope y'all have a happy mother's day. I'm going to love on my kids, okay? So, um, yes, I've been sad all week too, Sandy, because it leads up to it. On their birthdays, their death anniversaries, all that stuff, it's really hard. And Christmas, it's, nothing's ever the same. And so, um, yeah, y'all understand. Kathy understands. Linda understands. Yeah, it's very hard. So, um, she was my rock, and she loved this one to pieces, and my other son too, just to pieces. So, um... Anyway, <laughs> so it's going to be a good day tomorrow. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I'm trying not to. But um, anyway, so y'all have a happy Mother's Day. Um, and I will see y'all Monday night. That's my, that's my night. So I'll see y'all Monday night. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day tomorrow, okay? Y'all let everybody pamper you. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Take advantage of it. Craft all day. <laughs> see y'all when I see y'all. All right, yeah, he'll be back sometime. I don't know when yet, so happy gentle day. <laughs> okay, all right. See y'all. Love y'all guys. Happy Mother's Day. Y'all have a good night. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.